Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop. In this video, I'll be doing this silhouette cityscape and adding some text. So let's jump into Photoshop and see how it's done. So here I am in Photoshop and I've got my image all ready to go. You can see it's not a great image, but it suits the purpose very well for this in that it's a recognizable building. It's the House of Parliament, of course, in London. It's got a very recognizable shape when it's in a silhouette. Now, what I want to do here is make a selection of the building, of the landscapes itself. Now, I'm using Photoshop CC 2014, so this becomes a little bit easier. If you're using Photoshop CC or before, you may want to use the quick selection mode and then refine edge. But for me here in 2014, I can go to select and focus area. And that's going to select what's it in focus. And in this case, it's everything but the sky. And that's exactly what I want to select. And there we go. It does an incredible job, especially with this particular image. Now, I could go into refine edge here if I wanted to. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to output to a selection. Now, I really would like to go to an alpha channel, but it's not available. So a selection it has to be. Let's click OK. And there's my selection. Let's go and make an alpha channel. So I go to channels and then I click down here to make a new alpha channel. There we go, alpha one. And I can control or command D to deselect. Now, if I have a look at that, you can see that that is exactly what I'm after. It's done it perfectly. So let's make a copy of that and make it a layer in our document. I'm gonna to go to select all, edit, and copy and then onto my layers on a new layer click edit and paste and there we have it all ready to go right let's put some text on here i've got my foreground color as white my background color as black and i'm going to choose to put on some text and you can see that i've already chosen london tube normal as my font of course the font is entirely your choice. I'm going to click down here and I'm going to type in London. There we go. And then moving away from the text, I can click down and move this into place. And I think it wants to be about there. And click the tick to accept it. Now I'd really like to mask that out. So back over to my channels. Now I want the mask to come from alpha one here. So I can control or command and then click down and it makes that selection again back to layers and make a mask. There we go. And it's masked it out. Let's make a copy of that. Command or control J. Right, let's change the visibility of that one. And then in this bottom text, let's double click it and choose black as our text color. And there we go, we've got that going on. And then we can come up here to this one and choose to invert that mask. So I'm going to double click it and then invert. And there we go. It's done all the hard work for us. Now these masks can stay where they are. So let's click on the links to take them off. And then if I click on London copy and then control or command and click on London with the move tool, I can move these around to my heart's content and they will always be reversed. There we go. And I can position these exactly where I want them to be. So there we go, we're all done. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. And of course, join me and a whole host of other tutors and trainers over at tipsquirrel.com. Until next time, bye-bye for now.